Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we got to talk dry boxing and you're watching Cigars Daily. Get more out of this and all our videos when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you'll find extra content and coupon codes. And for this video, I'm puffing on Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust Sin Compromiso, a powerful, bold blend that's exactly the kind of thing you might want to think about dry boxing depending on the time of the year. But that's what we're going to get into right now. So let's dive right in. If you're just getting into the wonderful world of cigars, you might find yourself asking, what the hell is dry boxing? And why do I need to do it? It certainly isn't a top search term online, but in cigars, there are some people who absolutely swear by it. And after this video, you might find yourself doing the same thing. And it really boils down to the one thing that storing and keeping and enjoying your cigars is about in a lot of ways, and that's humidity. If you've got cigars on hand at home, you want to keep them in the best shape you can at the humidity that's most optimal to you. But that humidity right there can be hard to control. Sometimes you find that your humidor gets a sudden spike in humidity and all your cigars become overhumidified. Then you worry about things like tobacco beetles and mold or you find yourself with other problems. Like you take a cigar out of the humidor and you take it outside and suddenly all of your cigars for whatever reason are burning unevenly or the, the draw is really bad or even the wrapper leaves are exploding off the outside like they've got some sort of time bomb in them. And this is really where the idea of dry boxing comes in and what I wanna walk you through today. This is how to dry box and why. And to do this, I've set up this pretty simple humidor. Inside, I put some cigars that that like if I was keeping a humidor like this at home, these are the kind of cigars I would probably keep in my own desktop humidor these days. This is some of the stuff that I know has reliably uh, quality and complex flavor and good construction. Although these cigars even can have troubles. Now I'll start off with construction issues, bad burns, bad draws, exploding wrappers, stuff like that. That's not always your fault. Sometimes a bad draw or a bad burn happens because there was a roller at the factory who just didn't have enough attention to detail to some facet of rolling the cigar or some part of the production process caused the cigar to become unsmokable. It's a handmade product and it's one thing that certainly happens. But when you notice these things happening consistently from cigar to cigar in your humidor, then you start to wonder, is it something I'm doing? We get calls like this at the Cigars Daily HQ all the time from people who are wondering like, what the hell is going on with every cigar that I take out of my humidor? Now, storing cigars, like I said, is a lot about humidity and how well that you maintain the humidity inside of here. But plenty of things can happen to cause that humidity to spike. If you see your digital hygrometer or whatever you're using to measure your humidity inside your humidor, and by the way, you should have a hygrometer, most likely a digital one, so you know where your humidity's at. But if you see that start to go up past 72, 73%, you wanna start to be a little concerned. You can run into issues like mold and tobacco beetles, but another big one is like a bad draw and a bad burn. Wet cigars, surprisingly, don't burn very well. Whether you end up with over humidified cigars or your cigars are just all of a sudden burning, tasting and acting really funny, this is something you'll want to consider as a step to get more out of your collection. And that's where we get into the whole dry boxing thing. So uh, right here, I've got some cigars. Let's just say that I've been taking these cigars out of the humidor. They're in okay condition. I'm not over humidified here. Here, I'm just gonna say that lately I've noticed my cigars are burning really bad, or maybe wrapper leaves tend to explode off my cigars, even though I've got cigars from many different manufacturers inside my humidor. And like I said, this can happen as the season changes, the temperature changes, the humidity changes outside. Even if you're regulating your humidity perfectly in your humidor, at maybe around 70%, depending on how you like it, you'll find that you get a very significant shock to humidity if you go outside on a sunny day in the summer, where maybe the humidity is really low. This can be one of the really big issues that people have with cigars in the summer, especially in hot places. You take a well-humidified cigar from your humidor, you walk outside and the dryness of the air starts to extract the moisture and leaves, when they lose moisture, tend to shrivel up a little bit. And that can cause that wrapper leaf, which is tightly wrapped around the outside of the cigar, to sort of explode off the thing. Or if it doesn't explode, it just doesn't burn well. These are the types of issues you're going to find. So dry boxing is, 
an intermediary step between your humidor and going outside. Now it's got more than one function because you can also use this to bring down humidity in over humidified cigars. But essentially what you'll do is you'll take a regular cigar box. I'm gonna use a box from Perdomo, a 20th anniversary sun-grown box. Now this one doesn't have any cigars inside of it. And what this is, is a dry cigar box. This is not humidified in and of itself but it is made of wood. And the good thing about that is that wood tends to absorb humidity. It's why you don't wanna put your cigars in an unhumidified box to store them long-term because wood is porous and it will absorb the humidity if there's any around. And so by putting a cigar in here, you're going to effectively start to dry it out. And so dry boxing, for the same reason you wouldn't want to contain, like store cigars in a dry box, you're going to use dry boxing to basically dry your cigars out a little bit before you take them outside. Here's the way it works. Let's imagine my cigars here are perfectly humidified. They're exactly where I want them. And let's just say for the sake of argument, that's at 70%. I got a few friends coming over tonight. I know I'm gonna smoke with them. So I'm gonna grab one of a few different types of cigars here so that I got a nice variety. I got myself a Camacho Nicaragua. I got a My Father Le Bijou, a Herrera Esteli Maduro. And you know what? I'm gonna take a couple more of these Sin Compromisos because I know that a couple of my smoking buddies are, are pretty forsnickety about the cigars that they're gonna smoke. I'll put them in here and I'll close the lid and I'll leave these in here for a period of time. And that period of time, it can be a little subjective. The reason that this is so different for each person out there has to do with a few things. First of all, everybody's got different preferences on where they keep their humidity. Some keep their humidity lower, in which case dry boxing may not be as necessary for you if you keep your humidity in the mid or low 60s even. If you keep your humidity really high, like around 70 or 72%, this will be a step you'll wanna consider. Or if for whatever reason, you end up with some really wet cigars and accidents do happen. At the same time, when you put your cigars in here, you're gonna to wanna to leave them in here for a period of time that you're gonna to have to sort of work out. It's not an exact science because while everybody's humidity in their humidor is different, the humidity outside is different in a lot of parts of the country. It's gonna be very, very different if you live in like Nevada versus if you live in South Carolina where it's exceedingly wet outside like all the time. So getting the cigar to a better humidity is like about how much time your cigars spend in this box. My recommendation is to sort of gauge based on how dry it is outside and how wet it is in your humidor and try to come up with a time frame that seems reasonable to you to keep your cigars in a dry box. Online, if you read about this, some people will recommend up to a couple of days in a dry box. Although, if you've got one in your house and it's really dry outside, it may only need a few hours or less than a day to get your cigars to where you want them. So what I'd recommend is to start playing around with this. If you're gonna be smoking later on, start with one to three hours in a dry box. And you might even take the cigars out of the cellophane to do this. This is really critical because every piece of packaging around a cigar is going to slow the transmission of humidity. Cellophane is going to keep your cigar from drying out as fast as the cigar by itself, right? If that cigar has a cedar sleeve on it, it's also not going to dry out really as quick as if the cigar is just sitting there naked. You can also consider your dry box as another type of packaging or container that will slow transmission. Certainly, if I take this cigar and this cigar and set one on the counter and one in the box, and both of them don't have cellophane, the one on the counter will dry out much, much faster just sitting in the open air. At the same time, as you are intentionally bringing down the humidity of your cigars, you can take a look at a naked cigar like this, put it into your dry box, securely close the lid, and start testing your times. You know, if you're smoking a cigar a week or even once a day, you can start to dial in how dry boxing works the best for you. Like I said, one to three hours is a good start, but if you notice that your cigar is doing a little better, maybe the wrapper's not exploding anymore, but maybe it's just got a little bit of an uneven burn, pretty consistently, then you wanna try four or five or even maybe eight hours and so on and so forth. You gotta to work to dial in exactly what's right for you with dry boxing. This is exactly the same as the way you would dial in a good desktop humidor. I tell people this all the time. Humidors are designed to hold your cigars and hold humidity to keep your cigars in good shape. But all humidors are different 
and all the environment you keep your humidors in, they're all different from each other too. So each and every one is gonna require a little bit of dialing in on your own end. There's no one solution to fit like absolutely everywhere. Temperature, outdoor relative humidity, even altitude are all gonna impact how your cigars are stored as well as how long it takes to sufficiently dry box them to get them to where you want. But here's the beautiful thing. The result of doing something like this is gonna give you back more of what you want out of your collection, and that's flavor and experience. You want cigars that give you every ounce of that flavor that the blender intended when they made the blend. You wanna give yourself every bit of the flavor profile, the transitions, and everything that's there for you to taste. And especially if you're having friends over, you don't wanna be embarrassed by wrappers exploding in front of them. So I recommend checking this idea out, and maybe trying it, and especially, again, if if you seem like you're having issues with your collection suddenly not acting the way that it has acted before. You might ask yourself, has the season just recently changed? And I want to hear about this from you guys. Drop a comment down below. Have you done this dry boxing before? And maybe what part of the world do you live in? And how long do you do this? How does it work for you? I know that a lot of people in the Cigars Daily Nation have got incredible experience in the cigar world and have been practicing stuff like this for a very long time. And if this helps you get even a little bit more enjoyment out of your collection, it'll absolutely make my day, especially because I've been getting a lot of questions about dry boxing this time of year. So I wanna thank you guys for checking out this video and please do check this out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thanks again, everybody. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.